Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is actually going to be an art video, which I haven't done in forever, it feels like. Um, I've had this Pokemon magazine since January of this year, and I'm only just getting around to actually painting the little statue that came with it. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but I saw the magazine and I thought it was really cute and I really wanted to paint it. So I thought, well, I'll get it and I'll probably do a video on it, which was my excuse to buy it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was in January and it is now August. So yeah, but I just got the urge to paint it now and I thought, why not? Let's just do it. So yeah, um, this is the Pokemon magazine. <laughs> Picked it up at Asda, I think. And uh, it came with these little pots of paint and an actually pretty decent paintbrush. Um, I was kind of worried when I opened it that all four of the paint pots had dried up, but only the black had dried up, so that was pretty lucky. And we only need those for Squirtle's eyes, so I just used my uh, black gouache paint. So that was pretty good. And I wanted to use only the materials that came with the magazine as much as possible um, for painting it because I thought, well, that's what they're there for. <laughs> so I did that pretty much. I just used um, a bit of white gouache and a white gel pen just to clean up areas around the outline of his shell and to do uh, the whites of his eyes. Um, I also used a tiny paintbrush just again just to tidy up areas right at the end and my black gouache so yeah just trying to think was there anything else I used <laughs> I'm doing the voiceover before I've actually edited the video so <laughs> it's not a good idea I'm so out of practice so professional but um I really enjoyed it when I opened the packet I thought it was going to be like I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be like a polystyrene little statue made out of foam. I don't know why. Um, but it's really light and made of really light plastic. So at first I was a bit worried that it wasn't actually going to... Um, the paint wasn't going to stick to it. So I did consider gessoing it first, but I thought maybe it's just going to need a couple of layers. Because it's a kid's magazine. They're not going to... like expect kids to have gesso and stuff so I thought well let's just try and do a few layers and it did take quite a few layers especially the blue um, but we got there and I think it looks okay <laughs> but I decided uh, right at the end um, not to do the outlines you know like um, the outlines around his eyes and stuff just because I it's really tiny <laughs> and I don't I know I do a lot of small paintings but I just thought it would look a bit weird and I decided to leave the outlines off. Same with his mouth as well. I, when I'd finished it looked a bit weird because like you can't really see his mouth. But they didn't give like a pink or anything to do, you know, like an open mouth smile or anything. So I was like, well, he's just going to look a bit weird. <laughs> I even tried uh, later on to... Um, do a bit of a shadow like mixing the blue and the brown um, but it just didn't work it just looked like I'd put brown on his chin <laughs> so I just painted over it left it blue and I actually really like how it turned out I think it's really cute it took me a long time to do it like it took me a whole day to paint this little figure and it was really fiddly at some points um, I didn't paint the bottom of his feet because I wanted to be able to set it down while well, and let it paint, uh, let it paint and let it dry. So, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe it took me an entire day just to paint it, but I had fun. <laughs> I kind of want to go over like some of it and do. Um, I was well, I was tempted to do the shiny version of Squirtle, but when I was looking at it, it's like it's not any different. It's just his shell is green, and I was like, well. That's a bit meh. <laughs> the only colour I didn't quite like was the colour they gave for his uh, undershell, his tummy. It's not, it's kind of like a, a really weird yellow. It's not quite the yellow I would have picked. 
but I'm tempted to go over it with uh, <laughs> with gold. Um, not I didn't do it in this video, but I'm kind of tempted to go back and just like paint it gold because I want to keep it and I want him to be all fancy. <laughs> but yeah, I might do that later. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what the purpose of this video was. I just kind of really got the urge to paint him. So I did. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've done an out video on this channel. Um, it's been mainly vlogs for like the whole year, I think, so far. Which I don't mind. It's just I, I kind of just wanted to do something different for this week. So I did. And I think it looked pretty cool. When I actually saw this magazine, I, I was kind of surprised that they still, I mean, I don't, thinking about it now, I don't know why I'm so surprised about there's still Pokemon magazine going, because Pokemon is still, like, a thing. Um, but I remember getting it as a kid, and it's like, wow. <laughs> and there are some really good, like, freebie toys on there. Because I know I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit, over the last few months I've bought a couple, because the freebie toys were actually kind of fun, so... <laughs> And this one actually came with a little, um, like, puzzle toy, which I did end up playing with. <laughs> got a bit too carried away with it. But, um, yeah, that got me thinking. Um, because I was looking at the other kids' magazines, and I got, <laughs> I got way too distracted. I was, I basically just wanted to pick up the Pokemon one because I saw this as a freebie. And then I got distracted looking at all the other kids' magazines. I was like, wow, there's a lot. But I was really surprised that um, two of the magazines that I used to get as like a young kid were still going, like Girl Talk and Go Girl, if anybody remembers those. Um, and that just got me thinking, like, leave a comment if there's any magazines that you used to get as a kid that are still around now. Anyway, this is just a really weird, odd video that I just felt like doing. I hope you like it. So... Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.